Audio Jungle. Welcome to this year's Virtual Film Night. I'm your SRC President, Jacob Goodpipe. And I'm your SRC Vice President, Mark Heinrichs. Throughout the course of the school year, our Luther students, grade 10s through 12s, created films, and tonight you'll get to see the efforts of their works. Tonight we will be showcasing many of these films, as well as putting on an intermission by your SRC with prizes. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this year's Virtual Film Night.
Hey, sweetie, is, is everything okay in there? What the heck? I stayed awake last night, unable to sleep, my mind plagued with obsessive thoughts while I was drowning deep inside, unable to calm down my brain. I had a problem that I couldn't easily solve. As I got out of bed pacing the room, I was stressing over something that I couldn't easily solve. I asked myself over and over what I could do. Can I go back to sleep with the assurance that my problem would be solved by the following morning? I couldn't help myself. I stayed up all night long, grabbed a glass of water, hoping that my nerves would finally settle. I walked to my closet and stared at it for what seemed like an eternity. It was also staring back at me with some sort of enemy, ready to tackle me with a brutal force. I turned away for a second. Before I summoned the courage to open the door, I finally did. What should I wear? A babe shirt or a CDG shirt to school? Okay. Upstairs light on. Smart home. Who turned on upstairs light? Upstairs light was turned on using your phone. Smart home, turn off upstairs light. Smart home, where is my phone? Your phone is in the southwest corner of the living room. Basement light on. Stay back. I'm warning you. Stay back. Smart home, turn all the lights on. Smart home, turn all the lights on. Smart home.
Okay, turning all lights off. No! 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 Everybody's always talking at me Everybody's trying to get in my head I wanna listen to my own heart talking I need to count on myself instead Did you ever lose yourself to get what you want? Did you ever get on a ride and wanna get off? Did you ever push away the ones you should have held close? Did you ever let go? Did you ever not know? I'm not gonna stop that Good evening, Luther. I hope you've all been enjoying this year's film night. I'm your SRC president, Jacob Goodpipe. And I'm your SRC vice president, Mark Heinrichs, and we'll be introducing our activity for the intermission tonight. Tonight, we're going to be doing some Luther and film trivia introduced by your new SRC. When you think you have the right answer, text this number, 306 520 4944 to submit your answer, and you'll have 30 seconds to submit your answer. The first person to submit the correct answer will win a prize. To start off the trivia, the first question is, who will be replacing Dr. Hillis as president of Luther College?
Hi, I'm Lee, I'm in grade 10, and I'm a member at large on the SRC. I'm Ella, and I'm going into grade 12, and will be the secretary on SRC. My question for you is, what is the first feature-length animated film ever released? My name is Alyssa Nand, and I am a member at large on this year's SRC. Hi, my name is Anna Chin, and I'm the treasurer on this year's SRC. And our film night question is... What year was our Luther College High School founded? My name is Ariana Pillay. I'm Maya Swafer. I'm Annika Goyle. And we're members at large on your new SRC. And our film night question is... Who is Harry Potter's godfather? Hi, I'm Amatayo. And I'm Greg. And we are your member at largest for this year's SRC. Our film like question for you is what is Doctor Strange's full name? Hi, my name is Gavin Zimmer. And I'm Zach Popolish. And we're members at large on this year's SRC. And our film night question is, who played Dr. Robotnik in the 2020 Sonic the Hedgehog movie? The last question of the night, who is the Semple Gymnasium named after? Thank you to everyone for participating in our intermission. Now, let's get back to the films.
wish I could stay here forever. Seven years ago, everything changed. Our family of four became a family of five. Meet Lily. We've gone through a lot of firsts together. The first time she saw herself in the mirror, her first snowfall, and even her first Christmas. However, through it all, she has managed to take everything from me. My position as favorite grandchild, and even my spot on the couch. Yet nothing would prepare me or her for the quarantine. So during the quarantine, I've learned where Lily fits in the whole family dynamic. Like she's the person, or I guess in like this scenario, like the dog, like just sleeps all day and like eats all of the food. Like kind of like the teenager of the family, I guess. Um. So yeah, that was fun to find out. So here's a little video of like film, I guess, of Lily and I's day together. I'd say for like mostly like 50 to 60% of the day, you'll find Lily sleeping somewhere like at the couch, at the front door, at the front window, um, really wherever she can lay down. Um, but that's not that interesting. So like I tried to find like some interesting things she does each day, like playing games or eating food. So before playing the games outside, usually I'm the one to clean up the minefield that is our backyard um so after that's done we can get to our games so enjoy so here's one of lily's favorite games she likes to like run around with the frisbee while i chase her i guess um yeah uh trust me i caught up to her she somehow knew where the camera was and so she made sure that i only caught her when the camera was off but i can assure you i caught her I swear, not really. So here's a shot of uh, Lily and me playing Frisbee. Uh, it's a pretty challenging game for me at least. Uh, I'm not the best Frisbee thrower, but I thought I need a slow-mo shot of her catching a Frisbee for this. So here it is. So from here on out, I was kind of like struggling for scenes. And then I thought, what's more classic than a dog? Uh, drinking water in slow motion so like here's the clip that you've seen like a million other times but like with my dog so much cooler okay so i think like a breakdown of this next scene is like needed so this you're about to like witness lily's form of hunting i guess um like the moment the fridge opens like the moment she can smell food or like food is around she is in that room with you and in your eyesight so that you know that she's there. Um, it's kind of guilt tripping and like really manipulative, but she gives you these like big eyes um, and like that like look as though like she hasn't eaten all day or like she's like suffering. So like she, it's the success rate is like 99%. Like she always gets her way. Okay, so he's chosen her target and she'll just sit in his field of vision and just wait for him to break. She'll just sit there and like beg and give him like pleading glances. And then when he finally breaks, she'll take all the food that's left on his plate. Okay, let's watch this play out. Okay, so she ended up sitting there for like five more minutes and I'll give it to her. She's pretty determined and pretty patient. But like, was it really worth it for just the smallest piece of chicken? I don't think it was. 
there was one thing I learned during filming. It was that Lily has a better relationship with food than she does with me. That's kind of sad, especially since I'm the one who gives her all of her food. Okay, so after a long day of, like, napping, laying down, sleeping, begging, maybe, like, five minutes of outside time, she proceeds to just lay down, usually at the front window. And my mom seems to think that, like, oh, yeah, she's protecting the family. No, she's not. Like, come on. She barks whenever a rabbit moves on our front lawn. Like, she's not protecting us from anything. If a home invader was to come, she'd probably just lick them and do nothing else. Like, kind of useless, if I'm being honest. So just before I wrap up, I'd like to say thank you to Lily for allowing me a filmer for a day and for keeping the whole family positive during these tough times. I hope you guys have a good night, and uh, thank you for watching. Hunter
just want to blow your mind 이렇게 넌또 멀어져만 가는데 아무렇지 않은데 그렇게 말랐는데 사실은 내가 그게 아닌가 봐 I want you to be alright baby You should be alright 저는 아프지 않게 So we care. I want you to be your night, baby. You could be your night. If I'm in no yeah, care. So she can so we care. No, do I put in a catch your mind? I just wanna blow your mind. everyone for coming out to tonight's film night. We hope you all enjoyed the films and a special thanks to all the students who have worked to put together these great films for us. And an extra big thanks to Mr. Wilmot for arranging this virtual film night. Best of wishes to everyone and we hope to see you all back in September.